Hey everyone, welcome back to Graphic Hunters. In today's video, we're going to design a sleek G letter logo using a grid system to ensure perfect alignment. I'll also show you how to add a shadow effect to give your logo that extra depth and professional touch. If you're looking to elevate your logo design skills, this tutorial is for you. Let's get started. First, take the rectangle tool and draw a vertical rectangle like this. All right, that looks good. Now, hold Alt to copy the rectangle and place it like this. Next, select the second rectangle and resize it by dragging the left side to make it half its original width. Hold Alt and drag the first rectangle to position it on the second rectangle's line where both shapes intersect. Now, hold Ctrl and press D to repeat the duplication, creating a total of five rectangles. That's looking good. Go ahead and delete the smaller rectangle since we won't need it anymore. Now, select everything. Align the shapes vertically to the center and duplicate the entire grid by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl F. Rotate the duplicated grid by 90 degrees like this. Great. As you can see, this forms the grid for our design. We'll use this to create the G letter logo. I think reducing the stroke width a bit will make the grid clearer and easier to work with. Let's change the stroke width to 5 PT. As you can see, the grid looks much cleaner now. Next, take the e ellipse tool and draw a circle that fits perfectly within one square of the grid. Make sure the circle is aligned with the grid lines. To confirm, switch to outline mode by pressing Ctrl Y. As you can see, the circle intersects the grid lines perfectly. Now, switch back to normal mode by pressing Ctrl Y again. Select the circle and make a copy. To copy, go to Edit and choose Copy. Then go back to Edit and select Paste in Place. Alternatively, you can use the shortcut Ctrl-C and Ctrl-F for copying and pasting in place. Resize the copied circle slightly smaller by holding Ctrl-Shift while dragging inward. Repeat this process, copying and resizing the circle until you create several concentric circles within the grid. Now let's focus on the vertical rectangles. Select the middle rectangle. and use the Line Segment tool to draw a line through the center of the rectangle. Select all the vertical rectangles and group them together by pressing Ctrl-G. Now, go to the Transform panel and rotate the grouped rectangles by 15 to 17 degrees. Choose the angle that looks best. Adjust the alignment slightly by moving the shapes one pivot to the left for a cleaner intersection. This step is optional, but it improves the overall design. Select everything. Then take the Shape Builder tool and ensure the fill color is enabled. Carefully fill the sections of the grid to form the letter G. This step is simple, but requires precision. Spending time here ensures a professional finish.
Once the letter is complete, select it and move it out of the grid. Delete the grid as we no longer need it. Now it's time to enhance the design. Let's add a shadow for depth. Select a part of the design, duplicate it by holding Alt and dragging it slightly. Align this duplicate precisely with an anchor point on the original design. Next, select both the original and duplicated parts and use the Shape Builder tool to merge the overlapping areas. Reduce the opacity of the shadowed part to create a subtle shadow effect. If it doesn't look convincing yet, don't worry. Adding a background color will make the shadow more visible and enhance the overall look. And that's how you create a clean, modern G-letter logo using a grid and adding a professional shadow effect to make it pop. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and easy to follow. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Graphic Hunters for more design tutorials. And if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.